About 49,000 General Motors employees say they will go on strike just before midnight. Their contract expired yesterday and new contract talks broke down. Meg Oliver has the story. Outside a GM auto assembly building in Detroit, a handful of picketers carried signs and chanted UAW. The United Auto Workers is the union that represents roughly 49,000 GM employees who promised to strike. The price of living is going up, everything is up our paychecks, so this strike is necessary. Union members say they're fighting for fair wages, affordable quality health care, and job security. These UAW members not so long ago helped save a company that many people didn't think was going to survive. They stood up for that company. And now they want that company to stand up for them at the table. In a statement, GM says it offered to invest more than $7 billion in factories in four states and create 5,400 new positions with the majority to be filled by existing employees. We've also offered wage increases and or lump sum increases over the life of this contract. A person close to the negotiation says GM also proposed to reopen two plants that had closed. We hope for a short resolution that both sides that we can get back to work. A strike would bring a stop to GM production in the U.S. and likely in Canada and Mexico. For consumers, that means fewer GM vehicles on dealer lots and no specially ordered cars and trucks. Meg Oliver, CBS News, New York. No word on when both sides will be back at the bargaining table. The last UAW national strike was in 2007.